today we will be starting about uh, your differential calculus so we will be doing some basic discussions mostly discussing the syllabus and then we will be discussing some basic mathematical tools okay so let's start now आपका जो थ्री सब्जेक्ट होता है ना फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स इनमें से जो मैथ्स है यू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट मैथ्स बिकॉज आई बी टेकिंग योर मैथ्स पार्ट ओके सो मैथ्स का फोर मेजर ब्रांचेस होता है ठीक है द फर्स्ट वन वुड बी ट्रिगोनोमेट्री एंड नाउ like branches i will talking about j because your boards you have only 12th part okay and j you will be having everything the complete syllabus of 11 and 12 so second would be your calculus okay fourth uh, third would be your uh, algebra and fourth is coordinate geometry now If you are giving J mains or any state level joint entrance exam, then you will be having statistics, and mathematical reasoning. Okay, mathematical reasoning is a very important chapter for J mains. As you know, that one question will come from this chapter every year. हर साल आता है एक क्वेश्चन इससे बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट चैप्टर होता है बट ओनली वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ फोर मार्क्स विल कम एंड फॉर दैट यू विल जस्ट नीड टू नो सम बेसिक थिंग्स एंड यू कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नॉट अ बिग डील बट दिस फोर थिंग्स आर बिग डील्स यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स कॉन्सेप्ट एंड मार्क्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विल बी गिवेन टू यू बिफोर योर एग्जाम्स नाउ कैलकुलस से थोड़ा सा ज्यादा क्वेश्चन और मार्क्स आता है कैलकुलस से बिकॉज कैलकुलस इज वेरी बिग थिंग इन इट सेल्फ इट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ इंटीग्रल एंड डिफरेंशियल पार्ट ओके नाउ आई विल बी टॉकिंग एंड डिस्कसिंग ओनली अबाउट डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस बिकॉज दैट इज माई पार्ट Integral calculus will be taken by other teachers. Okay. So now let's see how many chapters we have to do. Okay. So now. first chapter would be definitely uh, relations and functions okay relations and functions now relations and functions is very important chapter because this will make the base for your calculus okay relations and functions agar aapka strong hota hai especially functions if you understand all sorts of like composite functions and bijective surjective all sorts of things If you understand properly, you can do very good in calculus. Also, ये जो फंक्शन चैप्टर है फंक्शन चैप्टर अभी तो आप कैलकुलस में यूज करोगे बट वन यू विल गो फॉर योर हायर स्टडीज यू विल सी दैट दिस चैप्टर हैज एप्लीकेशन ऑल्सो इन एलजेब्रा ओके सो फंक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड मेक योर बेस वेरी मच क्लियर इन फंक्शन आई विल बी टेकिंग दिस चैप्टर फ्रॉम वेरी बेसिक टू एडवांस लेवल so maybe this chapter will run a bit long okay then uh, your second chapter would be like i did this chapter in my time generally it's not given in books but we will do this uh, maybe one or two lectures basic uh, practice of questions because this chapter is very important i think because graphs are very important agar aapka koi calculus ka question ho ka functions फंक्शन uh, जो दिया रहेगा उसको देखकर अगर आपने थोड़ा भी आइडिया लगा लिया कि ग्राफ ऐसा होगा है ना तो आपका यू नो फिफ्टी परसेंट क्वेश्चन तो वही सॉल्व हो जाता है 
for both part for, for both differential and integral i'm talking graphs draw karna graphs ka ek intuition aana bahut important hota hai so we will be doing this chapter it's important i think it's important third would be your differentiation like basic differentiation things formulas and writing different yes, differentiation okay fourth chapter will be limits okay fifth would be continuity and differentiability Fifth, uh, sixth would be your maxima, minima, and monotonicity. ये सब बड़े-बड़े terms हैं, पर इसका अब जब समझ जाओगे चीजें तो आपको बहुत ही easy लगेगा, because आपका basic like this chapter is a basic. If you know basics, if you know basics, you can solve any of these chapters. This chapter will only have graphs. You have to just play with graphs and functions. And uh, the seventh chapter will be yes, the seventh chapter will be application of derivative. Now some books will include this one in this application of derivative only but we will be doing this differently okay now this chapter and this chapter why i am doing this a star mark because you know in dono chapters se sabse zyada questions uh, form kar sakte ho aap calculus ke andar differential calculus ke andar jitna bhi question practice kar lo every time your teacher can make a new question out of this your uh, competitive exams up previous year karke jaoge bahut acche se koi ek book solve kar liye fir bhi aap exam mein jaake especially advance mein jaake to aap dekhoge ki matlab kuch naya ek question hi bana diya aapka us saal mein kyunki is chapter se na in dono chapter se itne types of forms ke question bana sakte ho aap like you have no idea and now you cannot solve all questions and when you will give advance you will be always having some new thing right so you should know the basics very uh, properly so that you can like easily solve the questions so that would be our main target okay so yeah this is your syllabus okay entire syllabus of differential calculus now one more chapter is there which is generally taught under integral calculus that is differential equations okay so after doing integral calculus we will be doing this because this will involve integration so yeah i will be taking this chapter as well okay so now i think we have some time so let's do some discuss about some basic mathematical tools okay so okay now the first chapter that we will be do will be will be relations and functions for that you should know a bit of set theory so like what is a set a set is a you know a set is a well defined uh no a set, a set is a collection of well defined objects yeah a set is a collection of well defined objects don't worry this chapter will be under algebra okay and it will be taken in details by your teacher in algebra 
for relations you only need to know the basics of set theory okay so that you can uh, understand when we will talk we will be talking about a relation from set a to be a function okay so that you can understand that's the idea so the most popular sets we should know for doing relations and functions popular sets okay first would be the set of natural numbers this is presented like this this is the set of all natural numbers okay one two three second is the set of all whole numbers which will include a zero and the rest is same as your natural number set then we have the set of integers the set is represented by z which will have zero all natural numbers and all the negative of natural numbers The set of integers which is you can just see how the size of the set is increasing like natural number says zada bada hai whole number usse bada hai integers so integers will always include whole numbers and natural numbers whole numbers will always include natural numbers so basically these are subset natural number is a subset of whole number whole number is a subset of integers okay you will learn all these in details in your set theory which will be taken in algebra i am repeating this again so don't be tensed okay so after this we have the set of all rational numbers rational number means it will be of the form p by q okay So that q is not equals to zero, and p and q will be integers. Okay. Then we have the set of all real numbers, which is the most important and beautiful set because we will be doing most operations on the set of real numbers. Okay. most questions you will be seeing that the operations are done using a real number set the real number is the set of all integers rational numbers whole numbers natural numbers everything okay i'll be writing like this set of q said w and everything so as well you contain all all the things okay it's a real number so basically your real number is ye jo aapka x y axis hota hai na is x y axis mein x axis mein jitne bhi numbers hai pure axis mein इसको हम कहते हैं रियल एक्स एक्सिस इस एक्स एक्सिस में जितने भी नंबर्स हैं सब इस सेट में है एवरीथिंग इट विल इंक्लूड ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ नंबर्स ओके सो ओके वन थिंग आई मिस्ड ओवर हियर इज दैट आफ्टर रैशनल नंबर्स वी हैव इरैशनल नंबर्स ओके सो एक्चुअली विल डिनोट दिस बाय क्यू सी because this is the complement of rational numbers okay so now what are these these numbers are like examples are like root 2 or 1 by root 2 okay so these all are irrational irrational number pi okay etc so these numbers cannot terminate 
okay they will be a non recurring disease and they will uh, they can't be expressed in the form avib okay so these are the irrational numbers which is the complement which is the complement of rational number basically it will be the you know the real numbers minus the rational numbers rational numbers okay now let's talk about co prime numbers and i think everybody knows what is a prime number because obviously it is very basic thing you have studied in your junior classes a prime number is a number which is has exactly two factors that is one and the number itself okay so what is a co prime number a co prime number is a uh, two natural numbers okay see natural numbers not integers or anything natural numbers not even whole number two natural numbers are co prime their hcf is 1 if their hcf is 1 okay. now suppose we have like a and b and if the hcf or the gcd of the number is 1 then they are co prime that means they will not have any other common factor other than 1 so example would be 2 and 7 7 and 9 etc fine okay now we have one more thing interesting that is twin sorry twin prime then the other prime number suppose you know that our prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 9 11 11 sorry not 9 11 13 okay so now uh this two won't be twin prime why because the difference is not equals to 2 but 3 and 5 3 and 5 would be twin prime because you can see the 5 minus 3 is 2 similarly 11 and 7 won't be two prime because the twin prime because the difference is not equals to 2 Okay, so that is a basic term. You should know what is what are twin prime numbers because you can be given in a question. Okay, so yeah, that's a twin prime number, and so these are the basic things that you should know about a number. Basically, this is uh, you will be something which is be taught in number theory. You know, junior classes only we learn all these things. So yeah. let's end the class over here only okay so next day i will be starting with your relations and functions okay so uh, please have a basic idea about set theory because we will be talking about the cardinality of set and cartesian product all those things so yeah uh, you should uh, know all these things i will be saying in a just very basic way so please uh, note those things and yes we will be starting with our new in the first chapter of differential calculus that will be relations and functions in the next lecture okay thank you and the syllabus would be provided to you in a pdf format